what's up guys? Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, there are a lot of things that have been going on uh, outside of the fact that we're all in quarantine club right now. But the main thing is that I was finishing up my degree, <coughs> pardon me, and I've graduated. Uh, officially, I'm now a master of physics, master of a master's in science in the field of physics. I don't feel much different than I did a couple days ago before I graduated. Uh, it all kind of came as a surprise to me that I was going to graduate even because I decided to push forward my graduation from over the summer to just the, uh, finishing up this semester. I had all my uh, requirements done, so I figured might as well push that out and just get done with school. So that's cool. I'm uh, pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, so other reasons that I've kind of stopped making videos, just haven't had time really for it. Um, trying to learn how to teach online has been annoying. There's been a lot of stressful things going on outside of that, for well because of that. And one of the things that happened is that my editing computer has crapped out on me. I'm looking at it right now, it's on the ground and I'm very disappointed in it. So. That's what I'm looking at right now, so uh, this video is going to be edited on my laptop and that means that I'm going to try and make it pretty short, but I figure since I haven't made a video in a while to explain everything about as to where I've been, but today I just wanted to dive into this curiosity box. Uh, it got sent to me months ago, I was going to make a video on it. Um, funnily enough, I tried making another video on the curiosity box itself and I, I, I can't remember what went wrong with it. I think the video, the lighting was bad or something and I just didn't like it so I didn't put it up. Uh, so I'm going to just go through kind of the contents of this really quickly just to look at the, what's inside of it. Um, this is, if you don't know, the, uh, it's Vsauce's curiosity box. He has like a quarterly um, gift box. It's, it's like a mystery box. You don't know what comes in it, but it usually it always comes with like a t-shirt and a bunch of desk toys that you can play with. Um, most of the time I have no clue what these things are. So I, I open it up and I look and I'm like, great, I have a stick now that does things and I don't know what the things are. So if I look surprised when I open it, it's because I have no idea what's actually, what most of these things are. My favorite things are the shirts. I'm wearing one now. I would show you. I can't really. Maybe if I stand. Ugh. Yeah, this is one of the shirts. Um, they're usually pretty cool and science related. So I will try to get into it now. So let's see. Um, how do I want to do this? I hate trying to figure out how to film things. Uh, especially since I have not thought about filming in a while. So maybe, see, I think this is probably fine and I'll just open it um, like this. And I'll just have it on my desk and pull the items out as we go. So, let's see, it says on the on the top it says, within the sea is where I live. I love to learn and think. My full name is Inquisitive, but you can call me Ink. And that's just kind of their little um, mascot for this curiosity box. Little orange octopus. So if you've seen anybody wearing like orange octopuses around, that's part of it. Okay. So to start off, they actually, oftentimes they'll have like Steam game. I don't know what operator overload is. Um, and the Steam games that I've got through these boxes, I have not downloaded, but they're usually like a quarter of the cost of the box itself. Um, oh, that's one thing I did mention. The box costs about $50 every three months. Um, oh, wow. I just, re okay, so I just realized there's uh, something from Tibby's in here. Tibby's is a, a physics YouTuber. She, um, does all sorts of like Bob Ross videos of, yeah, <laughs> let me read the back of this. I don't know if I'll put this in the video, but it says, um, this drawing, this drawing by Toby Hendy is inspired by her series, The Joy of Mathematics, in which she explores mathematical concepts in the style of legendary painter Bob Ross. You can watch Toby's videos on her YouTube channel, Tibby's. Um, 
So I guess, um, accidental shout out to Tibbies, but that's really cool. I didn't realize that she was, uh, working with Vsauce on this. Um, God, when I started watching her, she had something like 300,000 subscribers, and she's pretty fun to watch if you like anything, if you like anything to do with math. Uh, so that's really cool. I didn't realize that she would be in here. Uh, and I said, I don't know things that are in this box, and the first thing I pull out is something that I, that I do know. Uh, okay. Oftentimes, they also send gift postcards. Um, I hope that's focused. I can't really tell if it's not up. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really know what this is about. It says Daniel Danielle Tur Tur Turici is an illustrator and comic artist. Uh, sorry, it's, it's sideways, so maybe I'll read it sideways. Through drawings, his main influences come from sci-fi and fantasy, and his illustrations is perfect. His illustration is a perfect example. So it's like a, it looks like Curious George. <laughs> well, maybe not Curious George. It's it's Curious George and a purple Pikachu, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you saw the purple Pikachu. There. Uh, oh, and then my and then my favorite thing about these is the t-shirts that usually come with it. Um, I like them because they usually fit me really well. Uh, so let's see. I don't know what's on this t-shirt. It looks like it looks like ink leaving a capsule of, of some kind. It's like ink leaving a capsule of some kind. I don't know what that's about. Inks Calibron 12. I don't I don't know what this is. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to open a bunch of stuff here right now because I'm, I'm currently in the process of like trying to move after graduating uh, and finding jobs you tend to move after that. You don't usually stay <laughs> where you graduated. At least I don't intend to. So if I have a bunch of stuff that I open today, <laughs> it means that I have a bunch of stuff to pack later. Oh! Yes. Okay, I've seen this. Um, if you if you watch um, if you watch Michael's video on this, you can see what this is, and it's basically just a puzzle that you're supposed to fit inside the confines of this box by placing them all together in a certain uh, orientation and a certain order. Um, and this was based off of something that. Um, what? Who was it? Thomas Edison? No, this was invented by Theodore Edison, Thomas Edison's son. Uh, and it's just a, it's a puzzle that you have to fit all the pieces together in the dimensions of this box, or the bottom box. And it, it's, it's just a puzzle. I forget what's significant about it other than Theodore Edison invented it. Um, well, this is pretty cool. I, I haven't owned one of these before, which is cool because I kind of always wanted one. It's just a drinky bird. Um, and I'm sure you've seen these. They're just little desk toys. You sit them in front of a cup of water. Um, it's, a, it's a heat engine, which causes it to move. Um, that's, so that's pretty cool. I've always wanted one of those. That's pretty nice to, to get. <laughs> I just thought about this fact that I haven't checked the audio yet. And now I'm kind of scared. And here we go. So another ink ink toy. It's, it seems like it's a, a stress kind of stress toy. Nice and squishy. So it smells funny though. That's fun. I squeeze it and just like puff of air hit me and I was just not feeling it because it smells really bad. And the last thing in here is The Science of Cooking um, by Dr. Stuart Faramond. And I know that there's another YouTuber that did like The Science of Cooking videos and I don't know if this is the same person that wrote the book, but he talked about things like that. So I'm wondering if this is the same guy, if Stuart Faramond is the the same guy that I'm thinking of that did YouTube videos on science. 
Uh, yeah, so there's nothing else in here other than the inside of the box for this month. I guess it's supposed to be like an eight ball, magic eight ball. There's a bunch of different, like on the inside, there's a bunch of different answers for eight balls. One that I noticed that I saw it says, Heisenberg says maybe, which is funny. Hey, Vsauce, no here. I don't know. Answer is yes, or is it? Interesting. Uh, so that's, that's basically all that is. Um, yay. <laughs> I finally did a video and I, I feel like the lighting's fine this time, so yeah. Uh, for a quick rundown of everything that came with the box, they usually send a little card, so if you're interested in seeing a little bit more explanation of what's happened, or what, what I was showing you, it's right here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to pause and, and, and read it, but there you have it. <laughs> Uh, cool. So on that note, I just wanted to say thank you for people that are still watching uh, and kind of putting up with the delays in my videos. Uh, I don't really have much of an excuse for it other than just haven't had time. But now that I've graduated, I'm feeling like I want to try and start making more videos again. On top of that, um, hopefully when I get a job I can start to afford like stuff, like replacing my computer so I can edit videos comfortably. Because this video, like I said, is going to be edited on my laptop, which means it's going to be edited in Windows Movie Maker. Movie Editor? Windows. The, I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to be, it's not, it's not going to be bad. And I find some, sometimes Windows Movie Maker is actually easier to use than um, some of these other programs like DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere. Just simply because it's like you do this quick cut and dry and you're done uh, but it also there's a lot of there's not as much uh, flexibility with it but anyways uh, thank you for uh, sticking through it with me and 